love being an American, playing Sherlock Holmes in England. As long as the accent's all right, it's all gravy. Take us under the bridge, port side, approximately 100 yards. Beyond that, you'll find the mouth of a tunnel, which leads us to the sewers. Ladies first. Robert Downey is the perfect Holmes, in my eyes, because he's American for a start. I like the fact he's American which sort of gives him an international feeling. But his English accent is actually perfect. I was lucky enough to do Chaplin with him and, and Restoration. And uh, so we set the groundwork, really, I suppose, not knowing that this would ever happen. I'm just different now, so I, I love language so much. And I love words before, though, I thought I'm doing this accent and then I just do my voice, which is, you know, the best voice that I'm aware of for me. Uh, Lady Ramsay uh, reports an emerald bracelet. Uh, insurance swindle. Lord Ramsay likes fast women and slow ponies. Mm. Cut. The lovely thing about Robert is that he he can do it off the cuff, virtually. I mean that, uh, and then I have to go in and say, well, you know, just do that, that, and and it's done. Uh, and uh, it's often to do with rhythm. It's uh, R P received pronunciation. He who would hear and now know aught of the new art must fight, toil, care, learn, then take his ease. Phonetic alphabet type stuff. I don't know how many times I can say, ah, crime scene photographer is what your constabulary requires. A photographer? Indeed. It is the future. That kind of gives uh, Holmes and Roberts' accent total authenticity. And often as an actor, you find that doing an accent can get in the way because everything you're thinking about is concerned with the sound of your accent. But he doesn't seem to have any problems with that whatsoever. We allow some changes to take place, but it's good to know where it ought to be, and then you can break those rules and use uh, modern terminology or modern phrasing uh, for effect. I need your help. I want you to find someone. <coughs> you, why, why? Careful. Why are you so suspicious? What shall I answer chronologically or alphabetically? And Andrew Jack has gotten me to the point where it's like, well, technique is just the price of admission. And then it's, what do you do with those? So I lean on him quite heavily when he'll tell me why a rising or lowering inflection changes entirely. And he is the expert, and I am the student. Ah, Joe Regan. I was the 15th most dangerous man in London. Uh, uh, so then, uh, I'm not fifth, sir. Uh, working, fifth. working your way up. What are you in for this time? Piracy, is it? Piracy on the Thames. Piracy on the Thames. Piracy on the Thames. How romantic. Thought, is it? <laughs> it's often just stressing, like, you know, I'd say, um, pick up the book. And he'd say, pick up the book. So he'll put the stress on up instead of pick, it, you know, like, like Americans do. Come in. You know, and we go, come in. That said, he'd noticed I've come a long way in my confidence, and he also said my voice is just much less grating to work with because now I'm in my 40s and it's dropped into my chest a little more. My goodness me. Here we are. Well, they should be able to give us an address. My goodness me. <laughs> what a coincidence. There's one thing about the watch you forgot to mention, Holmes. Why sound like I'm doing it? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit quite crisp every now and then. What is up here? Map sign and pie again. Let's go to the top. Yeah, let's go to the top.